assume we have a need to create a cash payment instance, and to connect it with the sale object. What class should be responsible for this operation? Since register records a payment in the real world domain, the register is one of the candidates for creating the payment. Then, the register object could send a message to add payment to the sale, passing along the new payment as a parameter. This is illustrated by the sequence diagram. This assignment of responsibilities places a responsibility for making a payment directly in the register class. The register is taking part in the overall responsibility for fulfilling system operation to make the payment. In isolated example, this is an acceptable solution. But if we keep making the register responsible for other operations, the register will become increasingly burdened with too many tasks. In other words, there is a risk that the register soon becomes incohesive. Imagine that there are as many as 50 system operations, all received by the register object. If register did all the work related to each operation, it would become a bloated, incohesive object. The point is not that a single payment creation in itself makes the register incohesive. But in a larger picture of overall responsibility assignment, it may suggest the direction toward a low cohesion design. Regardless of the final design choice, the valuable thing for a developer is to know the impact of cohesion. By contrast, the second design puts the payment creation responsibility on sale, which supports higher cohesion in the design. Since the second design supports both high cohesion and low coupling, it is a desirable solution. In practice, the level of cohesion alone can't be considered in isolation from other responsibilities and other design principles. Like low coupling, high cohesion is a valuable principle to keep in mind during all design decisions. It is an underlying goal to continually consider during design. Practically speaking, it is a principle which designer adapts while evaluating possible design decisions. Some scenarios illustrate varying degrees of functional cohesion. Very low cohesion occurs when a class is solely responsible for many things in very different functional areas. In this case, the responsibilities should be split into a family of related classes. Low cohesion occurs when a class has sole responsibility for a complex task in one functional area. The methods of the class are all related. But, there are lots of them. And, tremendous amount of supporting code is required. In fact, there may be a few hundreds, or even thousands of methods. The class should split into a family of lightweight classes, sharing the common workload. High cohesion indicates that, first, a class has moderate responsibilities, in one functional area. Second, it shows that the class collaborates with other classes to fulfill the assigned tasks. Moderate cohesion is common in a lightweight class with sole responsibilities in a few different areas. The areas are related to the class concept in logical manner, but not to each other. For example, consider a class called Company, which is completely responsible for knowing its employees, and also knowing its financial information. The two areas are not strongly related to each other. Regardless of this fact, both company and its employees have logical relevance to the same concept, the company, or organization. The total number of public methods in both classes is small. 
so is the amount of the code, supporting each method implementation. Class with high cohesion has a relatively small number of methods. The class demonstrates highly related functionality. And the class does not do too much work. It collaborates with other objects in order to share the effort, if the task is too large for just a single object. Class with high cohesion is advantageous because it is relatively easy to maintain, understand, and reuse elsewhere. The high degree of related functionality, combined with a small set of operations, also simplifies maintenance and future enhancements. The fine grain of highly related functionality also supports increased reuse potential. High cohesion, like many things in object technology, has a real-world analogy. It is a common observation that if a person takes on too many unrelated responsibilities, especially ones that should properly be delegated to others, then the person becomes not effective. This is observed in some managers, who have no knowledge how to delegate tasks to others. These people suffer from a low cohesion. They are ready to become unglued, and begin to interoperate with others.